wings with a trio sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss in the sauce. We're gonna be making cauliflower wings with three different kinds of wonderful battery goodness, buttery sauces we're gonna be putting on there. We're gonna be, first of all, we're gonna be making a dry batter with our flour and then with all of our seasoning and our spices. They're gonna be making a vegan egg batter as well with our vegan egg and our aqua fava. And then my loves, we're gonna bake it up and then we're gonna season it up with our jam and jerk sauce and then our sweet and spicy buffalo sauce as well as our lovely lemon pepper. So before we do all of that, my loves, let's wash our hands, okay? Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before you get to cooking. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before you get to And then this recipe takes like no time at all. Seriously, it takes like two seconds. Actually, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes. But it's really simple and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. Why have I never made this before? So first thing you're gonna need to do, get your oven set to 460 degrees. 460 degrees, all right? And get yourself a baking sheet, parchment paper covered baking sheet. We're gonna be putting our cauliflower on that. And then y'all just follow along. It's not gonna be difficult, it's gonna be easy. And you can use this recipe in so many different things. You can put this in tacos, you can put this in pasta, in a salad on top of pizza. Oh, it's so fabulous, it's so fierce, it's so fresh. So we got our vegan egg. I got three of our vegan eggs, okay? All right, so we're gonna be using this for our egg batter. But the first thing we're gonna need to do, my loves, is make that flour batter. And I'm gonna be using two different kinds of flour. You can honestly use whatever flour you got. You can use non-gluten free flour, AKA normal flour, but your girl's stomach can't handle normal flour. So today, we're gonna be using gluten free flour. This is from Open Nature brand. I really like this. This is what I made that cinnamon spice churros. This is the same flour and it was fabulous. And then we're also gonna be using some sorghum flour as well. This is gonna be my first time actually ever using it, but you know, I'm all about experimentation. So let's go and let's glow my loves. So the first thing you're gonna want to do, get yourself a big old bowl, and you're gonna add in about two to three cups of your flour. Honestly, it depends on however many cauliflower florets you want, however much just how much cauliflower wings you want in your life. So I'm gonna be making a pretty decent amount. I'll show y'all. Check out how much cauliflower we making today. Cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Look at all this. We are gonna be battering, in, battering this all up. So I'm gonna be adding in about, let's do four tablespoons. Let's do two tablespoons of our gluten-free flour right there. And then let's grab that sorghum flour as well and do two, did I say two tablespoons? Two cups, y'all. Don't use two tablespoons. You ain't gonna get no flour on your batter like that. Two cups of that sorghum flour. Whatever flour you're using, I like to use gluten-free flour because y'all know that's how I go and how I glow my loves. So first we got our base of what we're gonna batter our cauliflower in. Next, let's add in our seasoning and spices. The seasonings we're gonna be using is gonna be some smoked paprika. Y'all know I'll be going in with my smoked paprika. I'll be adding it into anything that I want to have like a nice meatiness in it. So go in with smoked paprika. I would say about three tablespoons, okay? We go three tablespoons. Go in with your smoked paprika. This is just gonna be adding in deliciousness. And we're also gonna be adding this into our jam and jerk. So put that over with the other stuff because we're gonna be using that as well later. And then garlic powder, onion powder. <gasps> garlic powder, onion powder. Hey, hey, garlic powder, onion powder. Garlic powder, onion powder. Garlic powder and onion powder. Y'all know I'll be using them in all of my savory dishes. 
I'm adding in about two tablespoons of each of these, sometimes three tablespoons, sometimes four, y'all. I just do whatever feels right for my spirit and my soul. So add in however much garlic powder, onion powder you like. I would say start off with two tablespoons. Go from there. See how your spirit and your soul feels afterwards. So, oh, y'all, nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast. Y'all know I am obsessed with nutritional yeast, okay? You know I add it into so many of my different recipes. So we're gonna be adding in about six tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This is just gonna add in more dynamic flavor, my lips. And who doesn't love cheesiness? Who doesn't love B12 in their diets? You know what I'm saying? So add in your nutritional yeast. Like I said, six tablespoons, maybe a little bit more will be just fine. It's all gonna be delicious. Go into our soap, just cook on in to our cauliflower wings. Cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Add in your salt and pepper. Add in that salt and pepper. And I'm adding in about one half of a tablespoon. I would say salt and pepper to taste. It always depends on whatever your vibe and your energy and whatever you need in your life. You know, a lot of people are low sodium. So there you go, go for that. If you don't wanna use salt at, at all, I would use like a celery salt to replace because you need a little bit of saltiness in there. We're gonna also be adding in some pepper. So I would say add in about one half of a tablespoon of pepper as well. So let's go in. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, my love. So before I went live on my Facebook today, y'all, I was trying to figure out what song from Hamilton um, what the lyrics were. So I think what I'm gonna do is while these are baking, I'm gonna ask Ace to pull up the lyrics to uh, one of the songs from Hamilton. I don't know which one. They want me to sing Hamilton, baby. And so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna sing a song. So I'm gonna, I think it's gonna probably be, I'm probably saying burn, cause that's the one that I know the best or I'll look up satisfied too. So we'll do that during our little break while everything is baking and I'll look up the lyrics. And we'll sing a little song, y'all, because I want to remember. I used to know all the lyrics, and I'm just like, girl, how do you not remember this right now? All right, let me add in a little bit more of my pepper. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, get your arm workout in. I'm getting an arm workout in just from grinding this pepper, y'all. I like it, though. I'm not mad at it. I be in the, in the kitchen, like, doing squats, like, be going in, like, ah, yeah, cooking. Cooking and working out, that's the way I do it right here. And no lie, anytime I go to the refrigerator to get water, I do squats. Like I squat and hold it however long I'm getting my water for. It's just a way, because I hate working out, like going to the gym, I hate things like that. So I just have to incorporate fitness in my life in other ways, in ways to distract myself. I can't know. <gasps> oh, let's see, I think she's nice and hot. Oh, she is nice and hot, yes girl. Bake it up. Like I said, set it to 450, 460 degrees. I'm going to set mine to 460 because that's going to get it nice and hot, real nice and quick. Oh, wait, let's whisk this up. This is our batter. This is going to be our flour mixture. And I like to see the seasoning. That's how I know it's going to taste fabulous is when I can see all those little bits of smoked paprika and nutritional yeast. All that nutritional yeast in there, all that salt and pepper. I think I'm gonna add in just a splash more of my salt and my pepper. I want this really well seasoned because this is gonna be the base of those cauliflower wings. So go in with your pepper. I'm gonna be adding in the pepper as well to that lovely lemon pepper sauce as well, my love. So there we go. Ooh, baby, do you mind looking up the lyrics to Satisfy and burn from Hamilton. And yeah, y'all, we gonna, we gonna have a little sing-along moment. We were just one, went one at a time. Well, can you look them up and then like save, send, like send them to yourself or something? I don't know, we gonna figure it out. Look up the lyrics and then save the tab, the, the internet tab. Say that, that might work, y'all, stay tuned. Literally, I can feel my arms are like pulsing from doing that pepper. So it's just like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, strong arms, strong arms. All right, and then I said I wanted to add in a little bit more of my salt as well. So like I said, salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste. And if you are just tuning in, we are making 
cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. You're going to batter it, you're going to bake it, and then you're going to give it a toss, okay? Easy, breezy, fabulous, and fun to make as well. So there we go. Mix it all around, and your dry batter is ready to go. The next thing, this is obviously very simple. All you have to do, get yourself some vegan egg. I'm using just egg. Just egg, eat just egg, just egg, just egg, eat just egg. I don't know if y'all saw my recipe for my uh, stuffed French toast in a mug. Stuffed French toast in a mug I made with this just egg. And we're gonna be using this in our recipe as well. If you don't have vegan egg, that's okay and that's all right you can use aquafaba and chickpea flour as well or just aquafaba and like coconut milk does pretty well too you just need something that's liquid and thick that's going to help it batter and i always say especially if you're not going to be using vegan egg get yourself some indian black salt just to give it that eggy flavor so we got our dry batter and let's pour in our vegan egg into our bowl. I have another big bowl right here. That way, the bigger the bowl, oh, excuse me, a nice little celery juice burp. I always get one around this time, y'all. I don't know how it is. I suggest using a big bowl because the bigger the bowl, the easier it'll be to batter everything. So pour it on in to your bowl. And y'all, like I said, I'm making a big batch. Make as much or as little of this recipe as you want. Your girl wants to feast, okay? Your girl's going to be going in to do it. All right, so I have some aquafaba in here too, just to show y'all. You can use both if you want to. And I'm going to be pouring in, let's see, I'll pour in about a little bit more of my just egg. Oh, thank you so much. He pulled it up, y'all. We're going to have a little Hamilton singing moment. Now, I can't promise it's going to be brilliant, okay, because it's been literally years since I uh, knew all of these words. So stay tuned, stay tuned, my loves. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is why you get married to a man named Ace Anderson, y'all, because he, he helps helps a sister out, okay? So like I said, Indian black salt. Indian black salt, it has sulfur in it. It makes everything taste just like eggs, my love. So add in about one eighth of a teaspoon, just a nice little sprinkle of it, and it's gonna give it a perfect flavor. Just give it more dynamic flavor into every bite of your cauliflower wings. Especially if you're using these cauliflower wings to replace meat, you want this soul flavor, you want this dynamic, you want it zesty, you want it hearty, all those things. So there we go. It smells just like eggs in here. It's wild. All right, so our two batters are ready, my loves, which means it's time to batter, and then we're going to bake, and then we're going to give it a toss. Y'all remember the song, okay? All right, so get yourself some cauliflower. I have cut mine up into nice, beautiful florets, nice little bite-sized, ah, mouth-sized florets, and then you can cut them as big or as little as you want. You can actually make cauliflower steaks if you would like to. So just chop the cauliflower into nice big pieces instead. So I would say if you want to make cauliflower steaks, you can use this exact same recipe, but just cut them into pieces like this big and this thick, and it'll be perfect. Bread it. Oh, it'll be so fabulous. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in our vegan egg, and then we're going to put it into our dry flour mixture. And then we're gonna put it onto our baking sheet, our parchment paper covered baking sheet. I suggest putting parchment paper on it because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. Um, you can either flip the parchment paper halfway through when you're about to put on the sauce, or I'm gonna leave out some parchment paper and see if we need to. Ooh, also fun fact, because you know, I'm trying to be better for the earth, not use too much plastic and paper. This is actually recyclable and compostable parchment paper so get yourself some of that it'll be better for the environment better for your spirit for your soul just for everybody involved so let's get going with our florets of cauliflower oh i am so excited so like i said my loves i have my cauliflower into nice pieces i'm going to dunk it first into my egg mixture right here give it a nice thin layer you don't want this too thick or else it just doesn't cook all the way down nice thin layer all over it boom 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 and then pop it into your dry batter and give it you can give this a toss too give it a toss in the batter <laughs> not giving it a toss in the sauce just yet but we're giving it a toss in the batter and i like to do these one at a time y'all but 
you know, you can do them all, you know, two at a time, three at a time. I suggest doing them no more than two at a time just because you don't want it to get too chunky. So um, check it out. This is what we got. There goes our cauliflower wing before it's going to go into the oven. So she's still got a little drippage going on. So let me get some more batter on her. I don't want her dripping everywhere like that. So there we go. All right, let's get going with our cauliflower wings. Cauliflower wings with a true sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. Whoa. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss in the sauce in the sauce y'all and these sauces are incredibly easy to make for the jump in jerk sauce if you want to you can actually just use jerk sauce like jerk uh seasoning we're gonna be building our own today because you know we feel it fancy up in here um and we're gonna be building it with smoked paprika scotch bonnet or habanero pepper thyme all spice cinnamon ginger and then cumin lime juice y'all it um I just said so many wonderful, zesty, flavorful things. And guess what? They're gonna make these cauliflower wings taste fabulous. People also sometimes call them cauliflower, ooh, cauliflower bites. You can call them cauliflower wings. I use everything interchangeably. I use them cauliflower bites, cauliflower wings. I just call them wings sometimes. If I wanna say buffalo wings, or if I'm talking about a specific flavor, barbecue, which is also very delicious. If you're gonna do a barbecue, version of the cauliflower wings get yourself your vegan butter and then get yourself some barbecue sauce and i suggest also throwing in like a little bit of some maple syrup or some agave just to give it some more dynamic flavor you know give it that nice little bit of sweetness in there and sometimes adding in some apple cider vinegar is too is good as well because it just gives it you know we try to balance out all those flavors y'all try to balance out that heartiness with that sweetness, with that saltiness, with that uh, that hot, that spiciness in there, and also that creaminess too. It's all about that balance. And the other thing I was gonna tell y'all about is we made a, um, a ranch, like a creamy ranch, very easy. I made it in so many of my recipes. I basically just keep this ranch all the time in my house, all the time. And what I make it out of is uh, Follow your heart, soy-free vegan eggs, soy-free vegan eggs. I used avocado oil this time. So get yourself some follow your heart, soy-free vegan eggs, and then you're gonna get yourself some lemon juice, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and onion powder, and then some dill or some parsley or like Italian seasoning. I suggest getting the dill or the parsley. And just put that all together. Sometimes you might wanna add in a little bit more of your coconut milk. If you want it to be a little bit thinner, uh, depends on, you know, how you like your thickness of your ranch. I like mine pretty thick, okay? I, I want it to stick to whatever I'm putting it in. So just like these eggs, I love, uh, well, actually, these eggs are not thick at all. Typically, if I use um, follow your heart eggs, so like the vegan eggs, the powdered eggs, I like to really get it nice and watered down, especially when I'm making the cauliflower wings. That way, it's just not too thick. What I've found is if you're battering things and the egg mixture is too thick, it won't cook down fast enough and you just kind of end up biting into like this thick, floury mess that you don't want to eat onto. You want these to be crispy, you want these to be meaty, you want these to be irresistible. This is the kind of recipe that I love to feed to people who say they could never eat vegan, never eat plant-based. Um, I like to give them these, but I like to fry them too. My husband, he might come up in here, he might fry these up because he loves a good fried cauliflower wing. Cauliflower wings fried on up. Cauliflower wings sound so yum. So that could be delicious. We might be doing that too as well today, y'all. Stay tuned. Right now, I'm just working on battering up my cauliflower wings. I got my vegan egg right here, also with a little bit of aquafaba. Just to, like I said, you can use that aquafaba if you don't got vegan egg. Aquafaba and chickpea flour. Mix that together, get a nice, thick, wet batter going. And also, sometimes people just do one batter. Like, they'll just do a wet and a dry cauliflower wing batter together. I like to do them separately, just because I try to approach cauliflower and mushrooms and uh, zucchinis and jackfruit. I try to approach all of those hearty meat-like vegetables as if they were meat. So the same way I would cook, you know, a, a chicken wing if I 
ate chicken, which I don't eat chicken, y'all. Chicken ain't for me right now. It's, it's just not my journey. I haven't eaten chicken since 2010. So uh, uh, pretty much 10 years. Wow. And I don't miss it. That's what's freaking crazy about it is that I literally haven't eaten chicken. And I used to eat a pretty decent amount. I mean, growing up Haitian, um, my mom being an immigrant from Haiti, that's pretty much what she loved to cook. She just, you know, she grew up actually catching chickens and having them on her farm. So she knew, you know, her own way about what she wanted to do with the chickens. And, you know, I was never crazy about it, but I also never complained. I wasn't like an active, I wasn't active about my, what I was eating as a kid. You know, a lot of us aren't as children because we don't have um, a say really in what we're eating. So I'm glad though, I decided to start eating plant-based, vegan, plant-focused um, back in 2011 because that just felt, it was just the right timing. Everything is all about timing and I'm not mad about what the universe has brought me. So listen, I haven't missed chicken ever since. Y'all saw that vegan fried chicken I made and now we got these cauliflower wings, battering them up. We're gonna do a couple more. I think we're gonna do like, five or six more. I really want to have all of these because like I said, y'all, number one, you can heat these back up and they're still so delicious. Oh, you can put these on pizza if you want to in a quesadilla. Oh my gosh, like buffalo, sweet and spicy buffalo quesadilla or lemon pepper stuffed potato. There's just so many things you can do with cauliflower wings. You can treat them the same way you would treat like a chicken wing or a boneless chicken wing, which Whenever I did eat chicken wings, it was always the boneless kind because bones always freak me out, which good thing I'm vegan now because your girl ain't eating no bones at all. Oh, also y'all, fun thing. So I don't know if y'all know this, but um, Jamaican Independence Day was a few days ago. It was on Thursday, I believe. And Ace and I, oh my goodness, y'all, we finally made oxtail, vegan oxtail. And it was so good, the seasoning, the flavor, the spices. And I'll kind of run you all through how we made it. So basically what we did is we grabbed ourselves some dried mushrooms, and which we just discovered this year and they are so incredible. Dried mushrooms, soak those for about two hours and let them just like really get nice and hearty. So when you dry soak mush, or when you uh, rehydrate soaked mushrooms, they get so meaty. I mean, it's wild. It's, it's literally just like beef, the way you can bite into it, it's crazy. And it's just mushrooms, y'all, which is just fabulous and it's good for your body. So we got those nice and re-moistured and then we got some uh, onion, some white onion, some green pepper. There was allspice, there was green onion, Oh my gosh, there was butter beans, which if y'all have never had butter beans, oh my goodness. And then scotch bonnet and of course, and liquid aminos. I mean, it was just so flavorful, so zesty. And we paired that with a um, our coconut rice and peas, which hopefully y'all have made my coconut rice and peas recipe, but I will definitely have to share this um, vegan Jamaican oxtail, y'all, because I was like, I could eat this every day. I could eat this every single freaking day. It was so good, so hearty, so vegetable packed. It also had carrots in it, and it was easy to make, and that's what I love. And somebody was asking me earlier, you know, I'm nervous about going vegan because I'm scared of the time commitment. Oh my goodness. I feel like eating vegan takes less time than eating meat. Because with meat, you have to cure it. You have to make sure it's not going to kill you if you put it in your mouth. I can put cauliflower in my mouth, and guess what? It ain't going to kill me. I'm not going to get salmonella from cauliflower. I'm going to feel just fine from some raw cauliflower. You can't do that with meat. And that's the thing I learned is like, meat just takes, for me, too much time. There's an appreciation of like slow cooked things. You know, if you brine, I love brining jackfruit or mushrooms. I understand there's a patience in food at times, but the fact that I can get sick if I eat this, you know, a little bit too uh, early or a little bit too late, you know, there's just too many possibilities for me to not feel well and your girl cannot have a day off. I was just telling my friend that. I was like, I can't get Corona, okay? I Ain't nobody got time for that? Okay, I, I have no time for that. I have to eat, I have to cook, I gotta sing, I gotta dance, I gotta live, I gotta go, I gotta glow. I got so much to freaking do that I can't just have a day where I'm like sick, you know? And I've had sick days, like I've had pneumonia before, um, but luckily when I did have pneumonia, 
I only had, it was like 24 hours. And as soon as I went to the hospital, I had to go to the emergency room because your girl had no idea what was happening to her body. And um, this is honestly when I stopped drinking alcohol as much because I think it was the liquor, like the night before the liquor, I just drank way too much. Um, and it just made me feel horrible. And then I got pneumonia. So I was like, Oh, maybe I just won't drink as much as I can. So I don't, I do, I didn't start drinking until I was like 23. I think I had my first drink when I was 21 years old, but I was never really into it until I was like senior year in college. And, um, and then from then I went too hard for a couple of years. I drank way too much alcohol. And then when I met Ace, um, I drank alcohol, but then I got sick too much and I just was like, this is just not worth it. I just can't, I can't put this in my body. And like, to be honest now, alcohol feels like poison, but I understand the joy in having like a spirit, you know, or having like a glass of champagne or I totally get it. I don't judge anybody for anything. Honestly, I don't judge anybody for any of their actions at all. If you eat dairy or eggs or meat, like that's okay. Do you? I ain't gonna be mad at you. I'm not gonna tell you what you can and cannot do. Just because at the end of the day, I believe veganism is in a sense like a religion. Like, you know, in the Bible they say, what would Jesus do? And I I don't think Jesus would be aggressively pushing, you know, himself onto other people. People came to Jesus, you know what I'm saying? They came to him, they saw him, they saw how he was working as a light, what miracles he was doing, and he didn't have to push that on nobody. So that's the way I approach veganism. I don't like to push my um, opinions about veganism or opinions about, you know, plant-based eating. I don't like to push that on anybody. If people ask, I tell them what I'm into. I tell them how it's helping me thrive. But at the end of the day, my loves, you know, you gotta do you. Do you boo-boo and I'ma do me. Do you boo-boo and I'ma do me, yeah. I'ma do me because I love doing what I'm doing. I'm having a blast living my truth and eating my vegan food and eating my cauliflower wings with a tree or a sauce, battery, bacon, dipping in sauce. <laughs> I'm having a fun doing this. And if, and I, if I can inspire people to eat healthier, you know, even if it's that plant focused, they don't have to eat plant based 100% or vegan 100%. But if I can inspire people to look at plants in a different way, in a more positive way, you know, not just look at them as like, oh, steamed broccoli or like asparagus with no seasoning. But if you can look at plants in a fabulous, fun, flavortastic way, then to be honest, eating vegan is not difficult. It's all about that seasoning, finding out the textures that speak to you, finding out the seasonings that make sense to your palate and what you enjoy, my loves. And we are almost about done. Okay, I think I'm on my last wing right here. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be battering these up and then y'all, we're gonna make our sauce. We're gonna sing a little song, a little Hamilton break. And then we're gonna get cooked. We're gonna eat, okay? Because that's the most important part of all of this. We get to eat this food today. We're gonna eat, and everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna eat this food. Well, I'm gonna eat this food. Ace's gonna eat this food. Hopefully, you're cooking at home along with me, and you got yourself some delicious food to eat as well, my loves. Okay, so boom, our cauliflower wings are ready to go into the oven. And like I said, I have my oven at 460 degrees. I'm gonna put this into the top, right here on the top shelf, and it's just gonna cook on down, y'all. I'm leaving it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until you can move a fork through them, so. All right, wash our hands on up, and then, y'all, we get to make our sauces. This is gonna be a fun part. All right, so the first sauce we're gonna make, my loves, is going to be that jam and jerk sauce, jam and jerk sauce, jam and jam and jam and jerk sauce, jam and jerk sauce. We're gonna be jamming, dancing, grooving, doing what we do. And what we're gonna need first and foremost is we have some vegan butter. So the butter I'm using today, I use all vegan butters, okay? First and foremost, okay? I use Melt, I use So Delicious, I use Miyoko's, I use Flor, I use everything. And I'm just gonna melt this down. You can melt this down in a pot if you want to. 
or you can melt it down in the microwave. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you get your butter melted down. Some people don't like using the microwave, so I totally understand if that's not what you want to do. If you ain't about that life, that's okay and that's all right. Ooh, y'all, while this is getting microwave, I'm gonna look up what Hamilton song we're gonna sing. All right, let's see. I'm excited. So I think, God, I don't even remember. Satis Satisfied would probably be the hardest one to sing just because it's so fast. But let's see, let's see, let's see what else we got. Helpless, I do, I do, I do, I do. Helpless is a really good song too as well. Um, I think I'm gonna sing Burn, y'all. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's see, where is Burn? Watching you burn. Where is it? Oh my gosh, there's so many songs in Hamilton, y'all. I'm literally on the iPhone right now. Okay, I know it's around Say No to This. So, fun fact, I got to actually see Hamilton um, the, when, with Lin-Manuel Miranda in it back in New York before the tickets were crazy, crazy expensive, before coronavirus as well. All right, let's see. Where, what, why can I not find this song? Blow it all away. Yeah, yeah. All right, say no to this. It's quiet uptown. Take a break. Stay alive. Stay alive. I used to know y'all all of these. I I don't know where it is. I don't know. Maybe they. Oh, here it is. Ooh, okay. Wait, they have burn instrumental, but it looks like they don't have. They don't got the. Y'all, this is why. Why they ain't got the one song I actually want to sing? All right, let's see. Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton. All right. Ooh. All right. So I don't actually want to listen to the song. I just want to look up the lyrics. I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, be careful with that one, love. We will do what it takes to survive. You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign. And when you were mine, the world seemed to burn, burn. All right, we'll come back to the second part of that song, but I'm glad I actually kind of remember it. You published the letters. It's so dramatic. Hamilton is so dramatic. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, okay. We gonna melt it some more, y'all. So I guess we got some more. Hamilton's coming up. All right, let's see, where are we going here? Okay. You published the letter she wrote you. You told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you done? She said, you married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border on senseless. You were, and you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you, 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 you. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. My future historian. Wait, I don't remember this part. <laughs> I don't remember that part, y'all. It gets intense, though. I remember that. All right, we go. Let's let's check in on our butter and see how she's doing. Okay, we'll come back to the songs and the dance. Oh, our butter is ready. She is melted, my loves. All right. So we got our melted butter, and our butter is gonna be the base, buttery base for all of our sauces. And like I said, we're gonna be working on that jerk one first so let me gather all my ingredients so get yourself your vegan butter i'm pouring in about 
two cups, yes, two cups of butter. You can use less if you don't want to, but I just, I just love vegan butter. I ain't got no shame for vegan butter, okay? All right, so I have three bowls. So I'm gonna make three separate batches of my butter. One's gonna be for that sweet and spicy buffalo. One is going to be for that jamming jerk, and the other one's gonna be for that lovely lemon pepper. So I'm just equally balancing out my butters right there. Oh, y'all, this is gonna be so freaking delicious. So, butter in your bowl, baby. Butter in your bowl. Okay, so let's get going with that jerk one first. So I have some lime juice here, my love. Get yourself some fresh lime juice, or get yourself some not fresh lime juice. I suggest fresh because that's just gonna taste the best. Adding in about two tablespoons of my fresh lime juice to my jam and jerk sauce. And then we're gonna be adding in some thyme leaves as well. So let's add in about one and a half tablespoons of our thyme leaves. Thyme leaves, thyme, thyme leaves, thyme leaves, thyme, thyme leaves. You can use fresh, you can use already dry thyme leaves. It doesn't matter, honestly. Fresh is always best. We all know that. Those are the rules. And actually, check it out. I actually have some fresh thyme right here from that, um, that oxtail we made. So here's some fresh thyme as well. Maybe I'll put a couple pieces in there. Let y'all see what's good. All right. Add in the thyme. And then after the thyme, we're going to add in some allspice, some ginger. You can add in fresh or grated ginger if you want to, or ground ginger too. All right, so I added in my time. Let's add in that ground ginger. Ground ginger, why are you not coming out of the container? It's because it's a new container. That might be a little reason why. Mm. Oh, y'all, you went straight into my nose. I literally tried to get a sniff of it. And went, Girl, you crazy. What you doing? All right, add in about one half tablespoon of your ground ginger. That's probably a little bit more, but that's okay. That's what we're doing today, my love. All right, and then the allspice. Oh, allspice is just such a powerful spice, isn't it? You can just add it into sweet and savory. Oh, I love it. But it is a mighty spice, so be careful with it. Let's add in about one teaspoon of allspice into our jumping, jamming, jerk. And then I got cinnamon and cumin. And with each of these, I'm gonna be adding in about two teaspoons of each of these. So add in, you just wanna get good spices in it. Yeah, cinnamon and cumin. Mm. And the cinnamon, y'all gonna be like, oh, that's crazy, why are we adding cinnamon in this? It's cause it's jerk. It's, that, that's just the way it's gonna go. It's gonna balance out with that lime juice, gonna balance out with that maple syrup we're adding in there as well. So you really wanna add in just all those balancing flavors, my loves. Add in about two tablespoons of your maple syrup. That was a little bit more because your girl got heavy, heavy handed on the maple syrup, but that's okay. It's just gonna make this taste even freaking better. All right, let's whisk this up. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Jamming jerk sauce, whoa. Jamming jerk sauce, whoa, whoa. And then I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper to this as well. Oh, it's already just nice and dark and flavorful. If you don't wanna use maple syrup, you can use coconut sugar or brown sugar as well. You just really wanna make sure you have some sweetness in there. So I'm gonna be adding in some smoked paprika also to my jam and jerk sauce. I'm adding in about one half of a tablespoon of my smoked paprika. And then if you have scotch bonnet peppers, get yourself some scotch bonnet peppers. But if you don't, get yourself some habanero hot sauce. Habanero hot sauce. Ha ha, habanero hot sauce. And add in about one half to two teaspoons of your hot sauce. I mean, it depends on whatever kind of spicy level you like. So whisk this all up, and then next, just add in that salt and pepper. Sometimes I like to whisk it in batches. That way, I make sure everything is nice and not clumping. Oh yes, that nice dark color is coming through, y'all. All right, and then salt and pepper, baby. Salt and pepper. So let's add in about one half of a teaspoon of salt, 
And the same thing with the pepper. A nice good balance. Nice balance of some salt and some pepper. Like I said, we already have some salt in that batter that's already going on in the oven. So you don't gotta over salt these sauces. Also, you know, you just don't need to do that, especially with the buffalo one. The buffalo sauce already got some salt in it. So we're gonna go on. You don't wanna go too crazy with it. All right, let's whisk this up. And oh my goodness, this already smells so good, y'all. Check out, this is our jam and jerk butter sauce. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what's going on, baby. Do you mind, my love? My love, do you mind checking to see if that's plugged in? For some reason, y'all, I don't know if y'all know this, I charge my phones as I found these cooking glasses. And sometimes they don't charge, so I just... I just want to know, was it not chopped plug? Ah, there we go. We got power, y'all. We got power. Uh, we got things to do. We got power. Uh. All right, we got power. We're good to go. We got our jam and jerk sauce right there. And then next, my loves, let's move on to that lemon pepper sauce. So what you're going to need, get yourself your garlic powder and your onion powder. Get yourself some gluten-free bread crumbs or rice crumbs, if you will. I found these at Trader Joe's, and I was so excited to use them. And then get yourself lemon juice, lemon juice. Get yourself a fresh lemon as well and get yourself some pepper and salt. So I have some fresh lemon. I'm gonna use the zest of this, the outside, and we'll put that into our wonderful butter as well. So let's start off by adding in about three tablespoons of our lemon juice. Add that into your butter. And then let's add in, same thing, three tablespoons of some rice crumbs. You can add in more too, depends on how much you want the bread crumbing on the outside. Let's see, I'm adding in about four tablespoons actually. So add that into your bowl. Garlic powder, onion powder, I would say one half of a tablespoon of each of those wonderful ingredients. We're adding in just all this, oh, it already smells good y'all, that lemony goodness up in there. And then let's get some zest of our lemon. So what I have here is a nice little, look at this cute little tool. She got a little orange situation. I'm just gonna get the skin off of this. And this is really what's gonna give that powerful lemon flavor that you want whenever you're making a lemon pepper. Now I saw a lot of people, a lot of the time, they will make their, they'll make their lemon pepper and they'll just buy like lemon pepper seasoning. And you can do that too. Ain't nobody gonna judge you for that. I just wanna do this because I like to use fresh ingredients in my seasonings, I like to try to be as fresh as possible. And also this is pretty inexpensive. You know, lemon is not a pricey item. You know, it costs like, I think 50 cents for like three lemons or something crazy. So, and pepper is not expensive as well. So you could just make that yourself. And I think that would probably be cheaper than actually buying a uh, lemon pepper seasoning, like a pre-made seasoning. So get yourself some lemon, get yourself some zest. I'm adding in about two tablespoons of my lemon zest. I want this really zesty. I want that lemon to pull through for you, girl. Come on through. I'm getting all of this skin off of this as well. So there we go. Yummy. All right, boom, got our lemon zest. And then salt and heavy, heavy on the pepper. Actually, let me get my other pepper out that way. I can go in, guys. All right, so I have a tiny, I have a different little pepper right here. That way it's just, not so, I don't gotta get the pepper workout in every time. Add in about one tablespoon of your pepper, and then I would say about one fourth of a tablespoon of your salt, or just salt to taste. But you really wanna focus on that pepper in this lemon right here. Cause it's lemon pepper, my love. Those two ingredients really know how to balance out. So there we go, in goes your salt and your pepper. Boom, and then let's whisk it up, my loves. Whisk it up, whisk it up, whisk that buttery sauce up. Whisk that buttery sauce up. Oh, she smells good. She is thick, too. She is a thick sauce. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. This is our lemon sauce. Oh, I want to taste it already. <laughs> I want to go in. Oh, it smells so lemony. So fabulous. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Y'all, like I said, sometimes you just know when you got to add in a little bit more saltiness to it. Sometimes I can smell if it's not salty enough. I don't know if anybody else has that power, but um, that's just me. <laughs> that might just be my weird little quirky self. All right, boom. We got our lemon. We got our jerk. And then next, let's make our quick and easy buffalo sauce. Sweet 
and spicy buffalo. And for this, all you're gonna need is some buffalo sauce. You could actually use Frank's. This right here, this brand is vegan. It has butter flavor in it, but not real butter in it. So you can use this right here. And oh, I've been using this for years, y'all. Ever since I made wings, I mean, this is what I use. So add in about one cup of your buffalo sauce into your butter. Boom, in she goes. Oh, she's gonna be spicy and sexy. And then you can kind of pick and choose what you wanna do. You can use yellow mustard if you want to, or you can use mustard powder. I would add in about one half tablespoon of your mustard powder, and then one to two tablespoons of your mustard. If you don't like mustard, you can skip out on the mustard. This is delicious just with the buffalo sauce in it, but it's even better with that sweetness and that mustardiness. So I'm adding in about two tablespoons of my mustard, and then I'm gonna be adding in about two tablespoons of my maple syrup as well. So add that all in, and y'all, this is just gonna be a nice, sweet and spicy heat to it. It's gonna be so delicious. All right, whisk it up, whisk it up. And whenever you're whisking up the buffalo sauce, you wanna start in the middle and make sure that it gets all incorporated. Sometimes it likes like to stay separated, but um, I'll show y'all actually. Check it out, see, you can see it's still separated like that. Well, I'm gonna whisk it up, because you want it all to be the same orange color. There we go. Whisk it up, whisk it up. All right, so after we have these three sauces, my loves, then we'll be ready to dip it, toss it in our sauce, as the song says. Oh, there we go, there it comes. Oh yes, look at this perfect buffalo. Sweet and spicy with that little bit of mustard in there. Ooh, I'm gonna just taste a little bit of this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes, 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 yes. That is perfection. It's made a little tester over here, so I'm gonna add that into our fun little container right there. All right, my loves, there we go. Our trio of sauce is ready. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. So next we're gonna give it a toss after these are done baking. Let's see how they're doing. She's doing good. She is very cute. All right, so I'm just gonna leave these right over here. These can stay out. I ain't too worried about it. It already smells so delicious, my loves. All right, so I guess that means your girl's gotta sing another Hamilton song or find something to sing. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we sang Burn. I don't know if we are gonna finish Burn because I don't remember how the rest of it went, y'all. Let's see. Um, how they perceive you, 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 you. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. Let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart. You've torn it all apart. I'm watching it burn. Watching it burn. The world has no right to my heart. The world has no place in our bed. They don't get to know what I said. I'm burning the memories, burning the letters that might have redeemed you. I don't remember the rest of this, y'all. I really don't. You forfeit all rights to my heart. You forfeit the place in our bed. You'll sleep in your office instead with only the memories of when you were mine. I hope that you There's burn, y'all. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we got it. All right. So we got burn. Boom. Check. I don't know if I can do satisfied, y'all. I know you asked for satisfied, but maybe you will not be satisfied by satisfied. But let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna look it up. Satisfied. You will never be satisfied. Satisfied by Hamilton. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. <laughs> Y'all, it's gonna be funny because when I learned this song, I actually had no idea how to rap. So before I get into that, I'm gonna dip on out of Instagram because we are running out of time, my loves. But we are about to come back on in. So I will see y'all in just a few seconds. All right.
There we go. <gasps> All right, my love. So I found him. I found satisfied. All right, about to go live again on my Instagram. All right, cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. And while we're waiting for our cauliflower wings to batter up, hello again, Instagram. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. So before we wait for our, while we're waiting for these to cook on up before we batter it, let's, let's, let's dig it on into a little satisfied from Hamilton. And uh, let's see if I can remember this at all. So, um, I remember that night and just my regret that night for the rest of my days. I remember those soldier boys tripping over themselves to win our praise. I remember that dream like candlelight with the dream that you can't replace. But Alexander, I'll never forget the first thing to say. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. It's crazy. Ha, ah, wow. You strike me. Oh, wow. This is like bringing back memories. It's literally like memories. Where's your family month? And important, there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait, just you wait. So, 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 so this is what it feels like to match with someone on your level with the hells that catch it. The feeling of freedom, seeing the light, Ben Franklin with the key in the kite. You see it, right? The conversation line is two minutes, maybe two minutes. Everything we did with total agreement. Had a dream and a bit of a dance. It's a bit of a posture, it's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'ma give him a chance. I asked about his family, did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting, he looked at his scans. He's penniless, he's flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz and he can't even grow it. I wanna take him far away from this place and I turn to see my my sister's face and she is helpless and I know he is y'all this is just bringing me back memories but uh I'll be real with y'all this song is a little too a little too fast for my pace today y'all so we're gonna do one more let's find out um uh say no to this let's find say no to this no to this I can't say no to this Da 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 dun dun dun. Da 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 dun. All right, all right. Let's let's give it a go, y'all. Let's give it a flow. Y'all asked for this. I'm I'm giving y'all the Hamilton situation. Y'all asked for so. Don't don't just don't ask no questions. All right. Um, I haven't slept in a week. I was weak. I never seen a bastard or from a more take it a brand. Ding 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 ding. I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone. My husband's doing me wrong, baiting me, cheating me, mistreating me. Suddenly he's up and gone. I don't have the means to go on. You're too kind, sir. This one's mine, sir. Stay. Hey, Lord, show me how to say no to this. I don't know, say no to this. Da 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 da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no. Yeah, um, this one's kind of also hard to sing with everyone, but you know, we we gave it a go. We had a little show, and I don't know about y'all, but I had fun with my fro. <laughs> Hello, all right, y'all. Thank you so much for entertaining me and my singing and my song. We may come back to this. Stay tuned. We may come back to some more musical adventures going on, my loves. So people are asking me what I am making. I am making cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. We are making jumping, jamming, jerk butter sauce. We are making sweet and spicy buffalo butter sauce. And then we're also making that lovely lemon pepper butter sauce. So let's check in on our sauces. I think they're gonna be doing fabulous. I can start to smell that wonderful cauliflower wings. Oh, she is starting just to batter up right. My loves, my loves. So let's see what other questions do y'all have? Africa is angry for you misleading her youth. I don't know what that means, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes people will comment things in the live and like, sometimes a lot of people will be like, Trump 2020, or like, eat meat. And I'm like, I don't want either of those things in my life. So um, 
we're, we're, not, we're just gonna skip out on the, all of that so i feel sorry for you sis but i don't want to warn you i think people are having a whole other separate conversation on my instagram live y'all i genuinely don't know but hopefully it's about positivity and hopefully it's about cauliflower wings or hamilton okay <laughs> those are the two things you're allowed to talk about in this live musical cooking class you know but fun fact about hamilton actually one of ace and i's best friends he plays aaron burr in hamilton in chicago and we got to see him and it was really cool it's cool to like have friends that are like doing it in like lead roles and seeing like them do their thing and it was really awesome one we got to travel out there got to stay at his beautiful condo apartment bougie moment and i've got to eat bomb vegan food went to all these different pizza spots and everything so let's see what else are other people saying oh my gosh please save yourself oh I hope I'm saved. I'm saving myself with plants, baby. I save myself every day with a good vegetable and a good celery juice as well. So let's see what y'all saying on TikTok. Hey, you should know me. I do not know you, but that's okay. Maybe I should know you. What y'all saying? Good. Everybody on this app. Oh, fun thing I wanted to chat about. So a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? If TikTok goes away, what's going to happen if this happens, if that happens? Nothing's going to change, y'all. I'm going to keep making food. I'm going to keep singing about food. I'm going to keep eating that food. <laughs> and y'all are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, on Triller, on TikTok. On... Y'all are more than welcome to follow me everywhere because at the end of the day, your girl is on all social media, okay? Whenever Ace and I were starting to make the make one great vegan, we knew that the most one of the most important things was gonna be to make sure that we had the same name on all platforms. So there we go. It's my first time on your Instagram. I came across it from another Instagram. You should totally perform in musical. You are very gifted and talented and singing and beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you. So I don't know if y'all know this, but welcome. Come on, welcome to the fun musical cooking class Instagram where we sing and we dance about food. And um, fun fact, so I actually, I did musicals like my whole life. I went to school. I trained for this my whole life, y'all. I'm not a huge fan of like being in musicals anymore just because I just, I don't know. I just wanted to write my own music. I wanted to create my own situation. So boom, here we are today singing about food. But I actually moved to Dallas to be in Dream Girls. We're your dream girls, boys, we'll make it happy. Yeah, 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 we your dream girls, boys, we'll always care. We your dream girls, dream girls will move you. All right, we could go all, I could sing all about dream girls because that's like one of my favorite musicals in the whole world. So I did dream girls at Dallas Theater Center. And then I was in Bella, an American Tall Tale, which actually went to New York and did a show off Broadway. And I got to be in a cast recording and it was so much fun. I got to play this character named Mrs. Dan Whitty. And she was like an old country lady. She was just this like a farmer woman. So I got to play these fun characters. I got to play this four legged woman. Spiderella was her name. She literally had, I had four legs. I had extra legs they attached to costume. I played um, so many different characters. I had a whole song about the wind blowing and everything. And then I met my husband in Christmas Carol where I played young Scrooge. It was really cool. My, the theater that we were doing it at, they reversed the gender of Scrooge. So just Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge is typically a man. Well, in this version, she was a lady and she was fierce. I mean, this woman was a fierce actress and I got to play the young version and Ace played the young version of my boyfriend. So in the original story, it's Belle. She, that's how Ebenezer Scrooge meets Belle. But in this story, he was Bo and now he is my Bo. So, oh, <laughs> so cute. I freaking love it. He's so cute. I love him. He's so talented and all that. So I got to do that and then I did... Um, Hairspray, which was so much fun. I got to play the dynamites, the girls singing and dancing. Actually, there's a photo of it right here. Y'all probably seen it in some of my videos as well. So yeah, I've done a ton of musicals. I mean, like I said, I, the uh, Hamilton, been through that. I've had a wonderful experience auditioning for Hamilton and just, just creating music and songs. And now it feels like such a blessing that I get to merge my love of singing and 
you know, just having fun. You don't have to be a perfect singer to sing in the kitchen. You don't have to be, you know, a trained opera, musical theater chef. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You just have to be yourself, speak your truth, and have fun at the end of the day is really what it's about. So, y'all, I think it might be time to check in on our cauliflower wings and dip them into our trio of sauce, okay? All right. Oh, yes. It's time. Cauliflower wings. Whoa. Cauliflower wings. Whoa, cauliflower, whoa, cauliflower, whoa, color, 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 cauliflower wings with a trio sauce, batter it, bake it, dip it in sauce, give it a toss and dip it in sauce, we're gonna do both of them. All right, so I'm leaving my oven on because we still want it nice and hot. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just dump in one third of my cauliflower, I'm gonna separate it see which have a big juicy pieces I want to have some of that jerk seasoning on it first so boom add in your cauliflower to a big bowl this is my favorite way to do this you can dip them independently into each piece if you want to but your girl doesn't feel like doing that right now she's just gonna pick this off boom easy I already used that jamming jerk butter sauce first and then just season it on up my loves all right so I'm gonna actually take off all of my pieces of this and then I'm gonna flip my parchment paper around. That way I have a clean place I can place all my saucy pieces as well. Ooh, these smell so freaking good. The seasoning in here, the nutritional yeast, that smoked paprika, that Indian black salt we put up in here. I'm so glad we did all of that, y'all. And this is going to, the perfect way, I think, whenever you're cooking cauliflower wings, you really want them to be just nice and just falling apart inside and then crispy on the outside. So that's how we're gonna get them today. Nice and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Let's get this piece off the side right here. There we go, come on off girl, there we go. Come on off. Some of the pieces of skin are sticking to the parchment paper, but that's okay, we're gonna cover that off with sauce anyways, it don't really matter. All right, boom, last piece, come on off. All right, so there go our baked cauliflower wings and now, we are going to put it into our sauce. So I'm going to flip this around my piece of parchment paper. So now I have a pretty clean place to put my new cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. All right, so there we go. You see I have my clean place that I'm gonna place it. And I'm just gonna place it in three sections. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do Grab in a piece of my cauliflower and I'ma just give it a toss in that jerk seasoning. Yes, give it that buttery goodness that I love. Mm, mm, give it a toss. I want it coated and covered. And sometimes I'll even go back over and I'll drizzle some more over it as well. So boom, get your cauliflower wing and give it a toss. Whoa, whoa. It's a nice little messy recipe. And you know, also I think this recipe is fun to make with kids because they can each make their own sauce and then they get to mix it up and they can do the dunking part too. That's always fun for kids. They don't have to get too involved in chopping anything or nothing like that. So I wanna make sure I see all of my seasoning and my spices on my cauliflower wings. I wanna see all that thyme stick into these pieces. And this is doing great. I can smell that lime juice. I can smell that sweetness, that spiciness, that cinnamon. Y'all remember we put cinnamon over here? Okay, this is gonna be delicious. This is gonna be so flavorful and so fierce. So fabulous. All right, let's add in a couple more and then I wanna go move on to that lovely lemon pepper sauce. There we go. I think I'm gonna do one more of my jam and jerk. And then we'll probably go back and see what we got left and see what we can work on. I'll show y'all what I got going just for right now. See, this is hot. I can grab it. Oh, see, there we go. We have poured on over our jam and jerk sauce. And I'll pour a little bit over the top as well, or whenever they come out too. It's good to put that over. All right, so next we're gonna do the same thing to our lemon pepper. And our lemon pepper is gonna be a little bit thicker because it has those bread crumbs in it. So give it a nice battery coating. Oh yeah, she's gonna bake up real good. She gonna, oh snap y'all. Get ready to feast. Y'all, Get everybody just get ready to eat delicious food right now because I am looking at these lovely lemon, and they are so lovely. They're gonna be so delicious, so lemony, so peppery, and then that bread crumb, 
breadcrumb battering on the outside is going to be so freaking good to bite into. So let's do about five pieces, five to five to seven pieces. I mean, honestly, it depends on however big your cauliflower head is. If you want more pieces, it looks like we're going to have a lot of pieces extra over. So probably going to be battering them also go back again and batter these as well and some more so there we go i have four of these let me do one more make it a good five cup Oop, it fell in the bowl all right give it a nice toss give it a toss and i'm just tossing it with my tongs in here and laying it onto my parchment paper baking sheet all right so next let's move on to that buffalo that sweet and spicy buffalo it's gonna be so freaking delicious all right, and I'm giving this one a good toss. This one's really easy to coat because this sauce, this wing sauce is made specifically to coat wings. So it's easier obviously using the buffalo sauce. And buffalo sauce I would be say is the most common covering for your cauliflower wings. But I just wanted to jazz it up y'all. I wanted to give us some flavor, some fun dips that we could create. Things you could put on different things, different cultures, just, Variation. I'm all about options, my loves. All about it. All right, so giving this buffalo wing a toss. These are looking beautiful, my loves. I'm so excited for y'all to see this. And not only that, but for y'all to try this recipe and to dig on in. Cauliflower wings with a tree of sauce. Batter and bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a tree of sauce. Batter and bake it, give it a toss. Yes. Batter it, bake it, and giving her a nice toss. All right, so I have five of each of these, so that means I can go back and batter up more of these. You can use, I mean, it depends on however many people you're making this for. If you're making this uh, recipe for more than obviously two people, you can use more than one head of cauliflower. You can use, honestly, five heads of cauliflower. I've made this recipe for tons and tons of people. Like, I've made 100 wings before. I used to do um, a lot of catering, and this was one of my most popular recipes. So I still, I just love digging into it. So meaty, so hearty, Ooh, one fell in. That's why we got the bowl right here to make sure none of them fall out, okay. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss. Whoa, batter it, bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. I love it. I love this jam. I love this food. I love this day. I love that I got to sing a little Hamilton for y'all. Just so y'all know, Hamilton is a fun show. Okay. I remember when everyone was listening to the CD on repeat. Like, I would drive from Oklahoma to Dallas because I went to school in Oklahoma. And everyone would listen to it because it was like three hour long show. And it was like the perfect time to listen to the whole show uh, from beginning to end. But I made a rule for myself that I wasn't going to watch Hamilton until I saw it live. I wasn't going to listen to the album or anything. I wanted to experience it fully the, for the first time live. And I'm so glad I did, honestly. Live theater is an experience. So if you've never been to a live theater, y'all should totally go, go check it out. Hopefully theaters come back with a vengeance after this coronavirus situation but if y'all never been to live theater that's kind of what my bread and butter was growing up i did live theater i did commercials so many random different things but theater and musicals that was always the one thing that kind of stuck through so here we are today doing the same exact thing my love all right i'm gonna batter a couple more we have about two more of these that i'm going to batter on up so I'm gonna do one more in that jerk. And we have tons of the sauce left over, so that means we can pour it on over, get it extra saucy and good. All right. Oh, I lost the piece. There we go. Colorful wings with a tree of sauce. Butter and bacon, give it a toss. I can't wait for y'all to see how these are gonna come out. Y'all gonna be like, oh my gosh, she be making such good food. And I'll be like, yes, I do be making such good food. All right, y'all, check it out. So as you can see here, we have our jam and jerk, our lovely lemon pepper, and then our sweet and spicy buffalo. Look at this, it's beautiful, my loves. All right, I'm gonna pour on over just a touch more of my sauce on over 
our wings just to give it more oh i lol i just spilled my fork in there all right just to make sure that we all get some of that battering on there i want to make sure she is covered and coated i don't want this to taste like cauliflower i don't want nobody to know this is cauliflower i want y'all to be like is this chicken what what and that's key with that seasoning and that sauce so let's pour on over that side yeah we reassauce it we are really saucy today. All right, so now we're gonna bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes, my loves. Let's pop it into the oven and she's just gonna cook and crisp on up. I'm actually gonna turn it up just a little bit higher. That way we can get it cooked even faster. So there we go. Well, I'm gonna taste my sauce too. Y'all, y'all, uh, why is that? Why is this so good? Why is it so buttery and so freaking delicious? Oh my gosh. All right, so uh, y'all, you saw how simple that was to make. All we had to do was create our dry mix, our egg mixture, and then our sauces, and now they're cooking. And like I said, y'all, you can do so many things with these cauliflower wings. Pizza, wraps, tacos, snaps, naps. <laughs> you can do so many things with them. Um, I typically, I just eat them by themselves because to me, it's like a freaking meal. Salads, you can put it on top of a salad. And then, you know, you got some hardiness in your salad. Balance it out with some kale. Oh, that sounds so good. All right, I got my trio of sauces. I'm gonna leave these because I may wanna have a little extra saucy moment later. And we have some extra cauliflower in here. I'm just gonna save this to batter up next time. I'm probably gonna batter up some more in a little bit. And then, y'all, I'm gonna be plating this in this pretty plate. Look at this beautiful little plate I have right here. I'm gonna be plating this with some ranch I made. I told y'all about that ranch we made. Putting it on my plate, add on some ranch, and this is just like a perfect way. Anyone can get, you can get a fork, grab it, dip it, boom, do what you do. Especially if you at home making this for yourself. So there you go. All right, my loves, I think that is most of everything we need. I think we're just gonna wait. We gonna wait it out. Something I also always like to do, y'all know I'm obsessed with anything, a little bit of freshness, a little bit of seasoning on top. So here we go, we have some of our green onion. So there you go, y'all, we're gonna be adding that on top of everything, boom, boom, boom. All right, so I just had a thought. I was very inspired by Beyonce yesterday because one of my good friends, Edmund, it was his 30th birthday today, and he came over and he did a fun photo shoot, and he was listening to Beyonce, and I was like, I like Beyonce, so we gonna, we gonna find a little Beyonce, we gonna sing a little Beyonce right now, okay? Okay, and there's one song, what, which song is it? Um, Halo. Remember those walls are built, maybe they're tumbling down. All right, let's find these words. Halo, halo. I don't, why, why can I not spell halo? I'm failing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Remember those walls are built. Baby, they're tumbling down. Didn't they even put up a fight? Didn't you make a sound? Found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Standing in the light of your halo. Got my angel now. It's like I've been waking. Every rule I had you breaking is the risk that I'm taking. I ain't ever gonna shut you out. Everywhere I look now. Oh, I remember that now. Hey. <laughs> How does this go, bro? Everywhere I look now, surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your halo. You know you're my saving grace. Everything I need and more is written all over your face. Baby, I can feel your halo. Prayer won't fade. I feel halo, halo, halo. Halo, halo, halo. Halo. Ooh. Hit me like a ray of sun burning through my darkest night. I love Beyonce because she be going in. She be like, Every little ray of sun burns the darkest night. I can't do the runs nearly as fast as she can, but uh, she crazy. You're the only one I want. Addicted to your light. 
All right, so that's pretty much all I remember of that song. Y'all, if you can't tell, I, I'm really bad at actually remembering the full lyrics of songs. I think the only song I know um, the full lyric, I, no, I don't even know that one. That's so crazy. I always failed at karaoke because I would genuinely never know all the words. But right now we're going to look up, I want to dance with somebody. Because I think I know all the words of that one. I've been in love. This is actually really fun for me, y'all. I never dance. I never sing like actual normal people's songs, so this is a fun little thing for me to do. All right, let's see what she says. Clock strikes upon the hour, and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I done running it up till now. Is the light of day that shows me how? And when the night calls, my loneliness calls. I want to dance with somebody. Mm. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. I want to dance with somebody. Hey. I've been in love and lost my senses, spinning through the town. Sooner or later, the fever ends, and I wind up feeling down. I need a man to take a chance on a love that burns hard enough to last. And when the night falls, my lonely heart calls. There you go y'all that's probably the most uh lyrics i know in a song i also know stay with me by sam smith but i think we've been singing enough of a cover songs today y'all we're gonna have to come out with an ep we're gonna have to come out with a little you know what i'm saying a little situation a little song situation um ace and i fun fact ace and i are actually working on music every single day. We're writing songs that are not just about food and cooking, but we're also um, writing songs about life, love, humanity, so many things. And also, fun fact, now that we've had our fun little singing session. Um, so, y'all might know this, but I got a cooking book coming out in December of 2020. On my birthday, December 17th, 2020, my cookbook will release. I will have a musical cookbook. Yes, musical cookbook. It's gonna have songs, it's gonna have workout routines, it's gonna have tips, health, just music, music videos. It's gonna have so many fun, fabulous things in it, my loves. And it's gonna be eco-friendly, it's gonna be good for the environment. And y'all stay tuned, it's gonna have over a hundred different recipes in it. Obviously, cauliflower wings with a trio sauce, battery bacon, give it a toss is gonna be up in there. So y'all be sure to stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on, you know, Facebook, go to onegreatvegan.com. And somebody just asked me what my sign is and I don't really follow zodiac signs really heavy, heavy like that. I've just never been a zodiac kind of girl. But um, I'm technically Ophiuchus, which is the new zodiac sign, but I was Sagittarius technically, but I never felt connected to Sagittarius. I always felt like something's missing, and I think it's because I was really an Ophiuchus deep down. Let's check in on my cauliflower wings, y'all. Oh, baby, look at these. Oh, he has his headphones in, he can't see. Cauliflower wings with a tree of sauce. Better and bacon, give it a toss. These look really sexy, y'all. Like, for real, for real, y'all gonna be like, girl, you just made those, and uh, they look so freaking delish, my loves. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I have a cookbook coming out in um, December 17th, 2020. Over 100 different recipes on there. Um, we're gonna have desserts, it's gonna have sweets, treats, all gluten-free, all vegan. We're gonna have, um, just have just a bunch of fun, delicious things, my loves. And this ain't no 
boring basic cookbook they just got the recipes in it no we're gonna have songs bean and cheese taquitos music videos music videos like i said there's gonna be a workout routine i'm gonna give you juice recipes i'm gonna give you just guidance about what i believe to be true in life you know it's my truth so you know do whatever you got to do with that let's see somebody said something else oh my goodness so yes oh i'm so excited y'all are thrilled about my cookbook i'm really excited too i'm finally getting to the point where i'm like finishing all of the writing part of it and now i'm getting to that fun part where like the creation part of it so all right y'all i'm gonna look up another sam smith i y'all know sam smith i love oh or maybe adele oh y'all know oh, we gonna sing a little adele today all right adele i see you girl I heard that Adele, um, she had like a huge body transformation, which I saw. I heard it was because she was playing bass. So y'all check into that. Google and find out exactly how she did what she did because she been doing some magic stuff. All right, let's see. When we were young, when we were young. All right, what is my favorite Adele song? I would say, they could have had it all. Yeah, this is a good one. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch that's bringing me out the dark. Finally, I see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out, and I'll let you be fair. I see I repeat, every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever pitch just bring me out the dark. The scars of your love remind me of us. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The scars of your love, they read me breathless. They keep me feeling we could have had it all. Rolling in the deep, had my heart inside. That was a fun little song. I forgot how much I like Adele. She is my girl. All right. So there's a little rolling in the deep for y'all. Let's see. Now I see fire to the rain. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. That's a good one too, but maybe we step away from Adele. You know what I'm saying? She got a couple bangers, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all, sometimes you hear the same song over and over again. You're like, is that what I wanted to hear? I don't know. Sam Smith, stay with me. Okay, that's what we're doing. Won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Mm, I love this song. I used to sing this song like heartbroken about boys that didn't like me. I was like, won't you stay with me? And then I met Ace and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're being boys. Okay, I see how it is. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, I love this song. Guess it's true. I'm not good at a one night stand. Hey. But I still need love because I'm just a man. These nights never seem to go to plan. I don't want you to leave, will you hold my hand? Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. This ain't love, it's clear to see. But darling, stay with me. Oh. Mm. Why am I so emotional? Hey, hey, no, it's not a good look, gain some self-control. Deep down, I know this never works. But you can lay with me so it doesn't hurt. Hey, oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. This ain't love, it's clear to see. Hey, hey. Cause you stay with me. I love that song. It's just, it's like a sweet little song about just please stay with me. Honestly, tons of Sam Smith's music is just about love and 
you know, I love his one about um, it is him I love. I hope hopefully y'all have heard that song as well. Um, some of my other favorite artists, I, hopefully y'all know who Betty Who is. She is a fierce recording artist. She sings, I remember, she sings, uh, Somebody Loves Me. Ooh, somebody loves me. Or Somebody Loves You, actually, are the lyrics of the song. Ooh, somebody loves you. Now don't you come on over. Why don't you lay me down? I don't remember none of the lyrics, y'all. Y'all already learned that, though. I don't even remember the lyrics to my own songs. That's why most of my songs only have, like, two lines. Because that's all your girl can actually remember in time. So, y'all, I think after all that singing and working and uh, twerking, I think it might be time to fix on in with a cauliflower wings. I'm going to check in on a cauliflower wings. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to get myself a fork. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, feel that heat. Feel that steam blowing on out. I'm gonna give myself a four. Oh yeah, she is nice and ready to go. Okay, okay, I believe you. Cauliflower wings, jump your body in time. Okay, I believe you. It's time to eat, y'all. All right, so get get your cauliflower wings out of your oven. Get ready to feast. Like I said, I have some vegan ranch I made here out of some soy-free veganaise, some dill, parsley, lemon juice, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, all those fun ingredients. And I just got my little ranch right there, boom, in my little container. And then let's pull on out our cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Batter it, bake it, give it a toss, and eat it. It's time to eat it, eat it. Oh, she almost spilled everywhere. Eat it, eat it. It's time to eat it. It's time to feast, my loves. Look at all this buttery goodness that is going down up in here. All right, it's time to dig on in. Look who we got here. We have Sensei Ace here today, as you can see. Yes. He, this is his robe. Ace got this from one of his best friends, and I freaking I love his robe. All right, so here is our cauliflower. Ooh, let me rinse this off real quick. Cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Batter and bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio sauce. Batter and bake it, give it a toss. It sounds like you're saying a tree of sauce. A tree of sauce. Trio of sauce. Trio of sauce. Oh, these look so good, don't they, baby? Mm -hmm. So freaking delicious. All right. So I'm gonna start off with my buffalo. I'm gonna put my buffalo over the one corner. I'm making this beautiful, y'all. She's gonna be very pretty. <coughs> Ooh, <laughs> some of it just, <coughs> it just, y'all ever have, literally I am over here coughing up everything. Um, y'all ever have like, sometimes if a spice gets into your throat, sometimes it just makes my, <coughs> gets some catches, catches me off guard. All right, there we go. Oh, these are so freaking good. These look so delicious, hearty. I'm gonna save some for myself on this plate. You know what I'm saying? So I can get myself a little something, something, and a little something, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go with our buffalo. Next, we're gonna put on that lovely lime pepper. Lovely lime pepper, or lemon pepper, not lime pepper. Lemon, lime pepper might be good too, but we're today we're doing lemon pepper. With all that, I can smell that zest in there, y'all. Oh, she smells good, yes. Baby, check it out. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Whoa. All right, let's add in that. And then this jerk, jamming jerk smells so good, y'all. All right, this is the last one we're going to add on in to our wonderful plate right here oh my goodness and she smells so freaking fabulous she is so delicious i'm just i'm just gonna eat all of this <laughs> i don't know about y'all or what you doing today but uh i'm eating all this that, that's what my job is today all right cauliflower wings with a tree of sauce butter and bacon give it a toss and eat it we're going to eat it eat it we're going to eat it all right y'all are y'all ready are are y'all ready to see what we created here today because these are freaking beautiful this looks like a baby look at this look at this beautiful look at this 
Y'all, y'all, look what we made here today. Look at this. And we haven't even added on that green onion yet. Check it out, check it out. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Better and bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Better and bake it, give it a toss. Woo! Let's dig on in, y'all. Let's pour on over some of that green onion. And then Mr. Ace Anderson's gonna take some photos of this, y'all, while I dig in, ooh, ooh, while I dig on into the rest of it. So add on your fresh green onion, nice sprinkle on over, my loves. Y'all, I'm ready to eat. We've been working hard, we've been singing, we've been dancing, we've been moving, we've been grooving, y'all. Had a whole little karaoke session moment going on, and now it's time to have a feasting session, all right? Check it out. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Better it bake it, give it a toss. Cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Better it bake it, give it a toss. Y'all, check it out. I'm about to dig on into this beautiful plate. Y'all, this came all from cauliflower. This is plants, plants, plant-based, baby. Cauliflower wings. All right, my love, you wanna take this on over? Do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take a little snackage so I can test these out for my people. Right, the one, you want one of these? You wanna taste one? All right, which one you want? You want jerk? You want lemon? Ooh, what's that? You gonna be putting some dipping sauce? How, how about you take a, call it a buffalo one, baby? All right, Ace getting the first bite. Hot, hot and spicy? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Are you okay? <gasps> too hot, too hot? You okay? You good? I should have warned him. I should have warned him, y'all. All right, look at this. Cauliflower wing. Oh, she's dripping too. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna dig in. This is the jamming jerk. So this one is so freaking good. So hot, but so good. I didn't want to spit it out. It was so freaking delicious. I just wanted to eat all of it. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another one. Okay, those. You wanna try some? You wanna try some? Mm. Uh huh. It's hot. We learned this. Mm. Hot? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have a lemon pepper one now, y'all. I'm. Gonna, we gonna dig in. All right, y'all. Well, you saw how simple and easy it was to make this wonderful, colorful meal. Thank you so much for singing along with me, y'all. I had so much fun. I've never done that before. I've never just been like, mm, let me just pick up some songs that I haven't sang in years. Typically, um, actors have like a book, but I just be singing songs about food. So y'all, dig on into these cauliflower wings with a trio of sauce. Dig on in, make yourself this wonderful, colorful, fierce meal. You can add these to anything. Make this as the main dish. Use this as something to fill on up and mark. Fool all of your meat-eating friends with this wonderful, fierce meal, my loves. I will see you all next Saturday at 1 p.m. We're going to be making something fierce, delicious, and I think it's going to be pizza themed. So stay tuned, my loves. I will see you all next week. Goodbye, my loves. <laughs>